So here we are again, day five, theme and variations by Haydn. We've now done all of the first theme and we started on the variation. So let's just review first theme from the first line of the page up until bar 15. One and lively go. <laughs> for bar 17 and 18. One, two, three, go. Good, now we'll do the same 21 and 22. Just remember, instead of C, B at the end, C, G. Good, one more time that ending be what tells you which section you're on in your mind when you're trying to memorize this before playing it in the exam. So keep going. This time we're going to go on to 29 using that same rhythm. Bum, 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 go. Very good. Ready? Go. one in bar 17. One, two, three, down. Ready? Again. Good. Now the second time. 21. Ready? Go. <laughs> so that's a new thing to add. So once, once we finish this part, the fourth finger is going to go on to the A string, and then we return to our C again. So that's the last two groups. Up bow, fourth finger, second finger. One time there. So up bow. Again. Nice. Let's put it back with 21 again. Nice. All right, now we're going to go on to 29, which is a little bit shorter one. yesterday's practice. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so what do you think we're going to do next? You've probably guessed. We're going to make it smoother again. So one, two, three, seventeen. <laughs> thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but my bow isn't showing that I'm thinking it. 21. Ready? Go. Now, if you notice any crunches in the sound, it might be because you're using too much motion to change between strings. For example, in this place, if you try to do a big motion to get back to that G string, 
it's not really necessary. So you want to use just a tiny motion. I'll turn this way so you can see that. <laughs> what's going to make the string crossings really smooth. You can always play it more times than we do in the video if you feel like you need extra practice. All right, last one, bar 29. One, two, three, four. Good. Once again. Sorry, start from the one. Ready and go. you play these, the smoother they're going to get. You don't have to worry about making them get completely perfect in the practices yet. You just want to be practicing them like this every few days. So now you're ready for day six.